you push yourself out of the darkness, off and gone before the rest of the house is awake. If you could stay longer with your family, you would. But they know every time you leave, you're doing it for them. Because your work matters. Today, like every day, there will be challenges to face on your job site. It could be the elements, the overtime, or something unexpected. But you stand strong because you know your employees, your customers, and your community are counting on you. To each of them, your work matters. Like a force of nature, your work transforms the world as we know it. Your skill, your unwavering resolve to do things right. These ensure your efforts will stand the test of time. Your milestones are your legacy. You are a giant. You are a doer. And your work matters to all of us. As you just saw the operators and the work they do, they're the reason that I wanted to be here and be a part of this amazing display here at Con Expo with Caterpillar. If you take any of the pictures today, make sure you use the hashtag CatCon Expo. Now, I was lucky enough to go to the training center and get to see these operators up close and personal and get a firsthand look at all the stuff they did. And the thing that was the coolest to me is they're not just operators. All of the guys you're going to see operating these machines were once customers. Now, to tell you more about that, I want to invite up Chad Kermeens, who's the field operations manager for CAT and runs many of the company's educational initiatives like these demos. Ladies and gentlemen, Chad Kermeens. Hey, Rod. How you doing, buddy? Good, buddy. How you doing? I am great, man. It's been a while. I know. Are you ready for this? I think so. I mean, we're going to show some people some really cool stuff today. And the cool thing is, rain or shine, we're doing it. Amen. Just like the work, it's got to get done. <laughs> yeah, no one else cares. So it's gonna rain tell us a little bit about exactly what's getting built today. Yeah, absolutely. Well, first of all, the Edwards Demonstration Center, I want to talk about that real quick. That's where everybody here is from. And we do some really cool stuff there. We demonstrate CAT equipment, and we do training also. We can do training at the demo center or at their customer sites. Regardless, we use the Equipment Training Solutions curriculum to do that. And then we do really cool marketing endeavors such as this. So who gets to do that, right? It's pretty it's cool. It's a big deal, man. Yeah, so we got six guys out here today. All six of them were real world customers are just exactly like you said. They have to have like 10 years of minimum experience. We got about 95 years in the real world, not cat experience, in the real world between these six guys. The cool thing about that is, you know what 2020 is, right? What? It's the 95th anniversary for Caterpillar, right? How cool is that? It's got to be a good thing. It's a big deal. So we see there's a lot of machines. There's a bunch behind the berm. What exactly are we going to see all these gentlemen do today? Yeah, well, first we had to figure out what we were going to build. We knew we wanted to put on a show for all these amazing people. We wanted to figure out what we wanted to build. So we thought, we're here for the machines. We're here for the operators. Let's build a stage for our machine. So that's what we're doing. We uh, put our guys together, put our heads together, figured out what makes this thing really shine. So we got about 30 minutes to get this done. So our six guys, I think we can get it done. Well, that's awesome. All right. Now, while you're getting everything fired up, tell you what, I'm going to head up top, get a better look. Let's show these people what CAT can uh, do. Buddy, I'll be down here. So, yeah, and before we really get going, we're going to do what everyone else in the real world does, and we're going to do a little safety check on our machines, make sure everything's up and going. Josh, how you doing today, buddy? I'm good, Chad. How are you doing? I'm great. I'm good. great. You ready for a little rain? I sure am. <laughs> rain or shine, right? We'll go to work. Absolutely. We always do. We always do. So you got, uh, I thought I saw a service truck back there. Do you got a service guy coming around today? Uh, absolutely. Tyler will be coming around here any minute. And uh, basically, Tyler, he comes out on the job site. He's going to be looking over this articulated truck today as part of the customer value agreement. So we have an agreement with our local dealer that he comes out looks the things over, and that's part of the extended uh, service and preventative maintenance agreement that we have. That's awesome. And our good friend Tyler is typically who we work with. Sometimes his brother Craig comes out, Craig, looks I things love that over guy. as well, yeah. and uh, this seems to be working out really well. That's awesome. Yeah, those customer value agreements, they're amazingly flexible. Any, anywhere from like a one-man band 
to a large operation, you can custom tailor those programs to fit your needs. It's a perfect scenario. Absolutely. I tell you what, while Tyler's finishing up, what I'm going to do is my pre-shift walk around. All of our operators do that every day. And what I want to talk to you about, Chad, is typically we used to do that on paper and keep it on a paper log. What I'm going to use today is a CAD Inspect app on my phone. You can nice. use it on a phone or a tablet. The beauty of this is all the information is stored in one place. So as I walk around, I can pull up the CAD app, Inspect app, and it helps take me through different uh, items I'm supposed to be checking. Perfect. I'm sure they're not going to miss anything. The piece that I really like about this is if I find something that needs addressed or make a comment about, I can make the comment. I can also add a photo if I need to. That way, if our mechanic back at the shop needs to, you know, dive in a little deeper, a little bit more information than maybe what I wrote, he can really look at the picture and then address things from there. Also, we've used this a lot, um, tracking maybe just uh, the life of teeth on a loader bucket or cutting edges on a dozer or motor grader. We can go back real easy electronically and take a look. But I tell you what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get up in the cab. We're gonna go to work, because I got a load count I gotta meet today, buddy. Yes, you do, yes you do. You don't wanna make Autumn upset. Oh no. Well, I tell you what's nice too, if you find something that you need in regards to a part or something like that, we all know that Caterpillar does an amazing job with their research and development on their machines, but they use that same methodology and mentality towards their cat genuine parts. The nice thing about that is you're getting a solid part just like you're getting a solid machine. That machine is only as good as its weakest link, and if you have cat genuine parts, then obviously you're going to be good to go. All right, Chad, I'm up top. I'm back with you, buddy. All right, so it looks like we're going to have a little tandem load going on here. Tell us about, we got the 962 and the 930 out there. Yeah, you bet. Well, I tell you what, a lot of our customers out in our mines and quarries, when they're trucked up, you know, you know what that means, don't you, Rudd? What, what does that mean, trucked up? Well, when you're trucked up, it means you got adequate trucks to get the production at the highest possible peak. So we got two loaders, and we're going to load the 725 because we are trucked up, as they say. So these guys, they're trained. They know exactly what's going on. They work extremely well together, and they're going to tandem load this thing. That keeps production at the highest possible peak for our customers. Nathan, is a good time to say good morning to you, buddy, in the 972? Oh, you better believe it. How's it going, man? Tell us a little bit about that one. Uh, I tell you what, Rev Village, this, uh, this 972, it's just a great machine. So first thing I want to highlight is the joystick steering. You know, this, this joystick steering has been around since the K-Series, and it, it is so reliable. Helps with the visibility. I got uh, four neutral and reverse right at my fingertips. Gear changes. It helped me out so much. It's just I couldn't go back to a steering wheel if I had to. But hey, the other thing I want to talk about is uh, the bucket. So I got a performance series bucket on here, and that allows me to get a, a nice full bucket every t single time. Uh, you know, depending on the material conditions. But it's easy to load, and it just it helps getting that production done at the end of the day. So, Josh, I think you're loaded there, buddy. Ten four, partner. Look at that, Chad. It just, it's like an orchestra happening here. Tad, what's different? I, I heard these loaders feel and operate differently. Why is that? Yeah, they certainly do, well, mainly because our customers need it. You know, there's different applications out there, yard loading, uh, in any type of industrial situation. You may need a different type of system, and the 972 is more your traditional transmission, where the 930 is more of a hydraulic type situation. Well, probably like your zero turned at home right when you're mowing the yard there in Atlanta. Sure, that's Ab perfect. Absolutely. So the 972 with that lockup clutch torque converter, it works out amazing in load and carry type, type scenarios. It's an excellent system, very reliable. And then we got the 930, it works out extremely well also. Hydrostatic transmission provides seamless torque, seamless speed. It's a perfect scenario for a lot of our municipality type customers or small loading oper uh, operations. Sure. And Kane, you're in that 930. What can you tell us about that? I know it's got the Performance Series bucket on it. Yeah, right. I tell you about the Performance Series bucket on this machine. Uh, a lot of commonality when it comes to uh, these cat machines. That's good. And what that means is uh, Nathan over there, he always has, he has a performance series bucket on there too, but uh, same thing, it's got a longer floor, it's got, uh, which enables me to penetrate the material better, so that way I can get a fuller bucket. And then pretty much we've got the curved sideboards on this, so a lot of load and carry. Uh, this particular machine here, you may see it, uh, let's see, maybe in a batch plant, concrete or blacktop batch plant, uh, they're loading a lot of hoppers, doing a lot of load and carry, right? So bring a lot of material in, and then they're able to take these machines, fill up their hoppers so that they can get production done throughout the day. 
That's then, cool, man. Yeah, so another thing I'd like to mention uh, about this machine is uh, how this uh, joystick here is mounted to mainly the seat. So what that means for me as the operator is uh, it's not mounted to the floor so that when I kind of go maybe through some rough, rough terrain or anything like that, that way it kind of floats along with me, right? So that way I'm not jostled throughout the day all day. That's a big deal. Now, Chad, what kind of applications are we going to see these machines in? Because it seems like it really does vary. Yeah, it does vary. And the cool part about it is we got a machine to fetch any need that you've got. doesn't matter if you're a, like a, a one-man one band situation, if you're a municipality or a large mining operation. we got load and carry systems that's absolutely going to fit your needs. Wheel tractor scrapers, working with maybe a D9 and a 627 type of uh, scenario. We've got... 777 with a 992, and the nice thing about all that is they match well. So pass matches is a big deal for our customer. So for example, we've got this 972 loading the 725. We don't want him, we don't want him to need to throw on like five or six or seven buckets on there. We want him out of there in three or four buckets. And Cat does a great job, our engineers do a great job making sure that that truck's getting full in the optimum amount of time perfect scenario but at the same time we don't want to overload them too right because then we get into a lot of wear and tear that's for sure sure so it really does mean something different for each job depending on what you're doing yes sir because you could have some of these on a much bigger job site as well right oh yeah absolutely yeah again we, we've got any any type of uh, system that you would like and the nice thing about it is we work in systems a dozer is nice but a dozer and a scraper, they're gonna move a lot of material. Two 627s push pulling, there is no better way to move material in the world in the right conditions than two 627s. Well, let's take a look at these cab lights. What do the indicator lights on the 725 mean? Well, so we got amazing technology on these products, but sometimes just simple indication is uh, all the guy really needs. So that loader, or that uh, truck, he can tell the loader when the, when the light is green, he knows he's still got to keep throwing some material on there. When it turns sol or flashes red a little bit, he's probably got about one more bucket to go. And then when it's solid red, he knows he's good to go. The truck is full. And again, that's super important. You don't want to send a truck down the road that isn't full because then you're missing your production targets. You heard Josh talk about that earlier. He's got targets he's got to hit throughout the day. That's super important. And then if you overload, you're putting extra wear and tear on that machine over 10 or 15 years can really add up. Oh, it totally can. So cool to see how Cat does something as simple and smart as those light systems to keep things moving. Ladies and gentlemen, making a triumphant entrance into Operator Stadium. That's my buddy Speedo here in the 325. Speedo, tell us about that big machine you're in, buddy. Hey, I'm sure I'm glad they put some uh, extra power into the tracks for this thing because I had a little, little trouble getting up with the wet uh, conditions today. But. Uh... The, uh, the nice new thing about the excavator is the same next-gen cab that we've been familiar with on the already released machines cool. in this nice compact radius. So very nice machine, very, very versatile. Uh, can get this thing down in uh, one lane of traffic if we need to and uh, you know load up some trucks, tear out some concrete, and uh, really get a lot done with a versatile machine. So again, nice new machine with the uh, same next-gen cab, all the same great features that we've got with the uh, grade, we've got assist, we've got payload. So here in just a second, when Josh comes over, I'll be turning on the payload. I'll be able to track every bucket as I load it up into the truck. And then uh, they can also grab that information from what I score and uh, send that back to the office to uh, track how productive we are throughout the day. So very, very good machine, extremely versatile, and uh, you know some great low owning and operating costs for, uh, for, ever, for the owners. That's really cool, man. It's, it's funny how easy that good, you make it look for the size of that thing. Ground, dude. Yeah. Yep. Brad, I tell you what, you get this thing out in some traffic, you can throw a blade on it for some uh, extra backfill or, or uh, tearing out concrete, giving you some extra room to get some stuff in the bucket. It's uh, really, really handy. That's awesome. Chad, now, as we're watching all this, the guys have, have certainly worked on this, but they know exactly what they're building here for all these fans today, correct? Yeah, we do, we do. We, uh, we actually got about 1,600 hours in preparation for all you folks out here today. We wanted to make sure we put on a good show and highlighted the cat equipment to the best of our ability, buddy. This is cool. All right, we got the 440 rolling in. Tyler's at the helm of that. Tyler, tell me a little bit about this thing. I know it's got the Good new right seat-mounted controls, isn't that right? Yeah, you better believe this. So one thing that's really great about good, this good, thing, good. I can just pull up here. You know, get, I'm going to get set up here like so. 
get turned around. And what this allows me to do is hit the button down here, enable a switch, and I'm allowed to still move, still move my, my back go here. Say I get done digging a set like so, I need to move forward. I just hit a trigger on my left hand like so. And now I raise, I can raise the front bucket, I can dump, do anything. So I raise that up, come over here, push myself forward, you know, back to back to digging my set again. Yeah, Rut, that dual mode system is really amazing. I mean, our customers are out there putting these things in crazy scenarios. They're, they're doing amazing stuff out there every single day. So we give them the tools to kind of help them out, you know, and sometimes they're jumping trenches or whatever the case may be. It's really nice. They can turn that, that uh, seat sideways and literally run the front or the back, just like Tyler showed us. It worked out. It works out amazing. Seat mounted controls. That way you keep complete control the entire time. I mean, you can imagine, like, driving the family across the country, you know, eight, nine hours a day and you're not comfortable, doesn't work out very well. But these guys, or these guys, all these customers out here, they're doing it every single day. Oh, so yeah. we try really hard to make sure that they're comfortable. Now, I heard Cats launching five new backhoes this year. Is that right? Yeah, they sure are. They got the 415 through the 430. Really amazing machines. These guys, they're just building on the legacy that our folks down in North Carolina have been building on for generations. Awesome machines. They're doing a great job even more uh, controllable, more productivity than they've ever had before. Uh, pretty amazing stuff. That's awesome. It's so cool to see all this stuff come together. Cat's known certainly for making trackers, have been making dozers for almost 95 years now. The D6XE is the world's first high drive electric dozer and my buddy Hood's in there. Hood, what do you think of that? I'll tell you what, brother, this is a pretty fine machine. The first time I got to run one of these things, I was just amazed about the power that it has. Um, these electric drives, they really put some power and torque to the ground. And you might not really notice it walking up to the dozer. You don't really notice uh, a whole lot of difference between that and its counterpart, the mechanical drive dozer. But it sure does have a lot more power and gives you a lot more versatility when working slopes. you got a ground speed control instead of a D-cell. And the way that works is you can slow yourself down, but you still have all the torque that you need. So you don't lose any torque, you don't lose any engine power when you're trying to slow your You can break down these gears into tenths of a gears, you know, no more first gear, second gear. Um, I can dive into these gears and get that optimal grading speed or optimal pushing speed that I'm looking for. Yeah, Rudd, the nice thing about that is, you know, again, Cat does an amazing job with Dozer, been doing it a long time, longer than anybody else in the world. And he's got that thing completely controllable and it's fuel efficient. I mean, that's what our customers want. That's what they get. And something that may sound silly, but he can turn under load, which again, sounds kind of dumb, but think about it. Go back to your lawnmower. What if you could only bone a straight line? Would you like that? No. No, exactly. So Hood, tell them about that turning under load and what that does for you, buddy. So turning under load, as you can see, working this radius right here, it, it really gives you a lot more power. Like I said, it makes this machine a lot more versatility, but Another thing I want to focus on is uh, another big focus for the operator is this redesigned cab. The cabs are a lot bigger. The seats are a lot more comfortable. There's a lot more controls to the seat. Is the trench back filled? You can slide no. the the uh, control pods forward and backwards. Fairly easy, um, especially for bigger guys. I'm not the smallest dude in the world, but <laughs> I get in here, I feel pretty comfortably. That's awesome, man. I know you've been running a dozer a long time. For one to impress you as much as this does, I know it means a lot. All right, I saw the 310 just roll out. I know it's an industry leader because of the operator experience. Nathan, you're in there. What exactly does that mean? What is so great for the operator experience? Well, at the end of the day, Rutledge, you know, like we talked about with that 972, it comes back to production and safety, safety most of all. So with this new cab and the new layout of all the, the, the joysticks, I have the ability to do stick steer, which is it's industry changing in, in my my opinion. So I'm able to, with the touch of a button, uh, switch between excavator controls and just the same kind of controls that you'd find in a skid steer. So I can steer this machine back and forth while even using uh, some of the thumb uh, buttons and, and rollers on here to be able to control the, the boom and the stick and the blade. So switching big back and forth from that, that's really what changes it. And then you throw in here a touch screen display, uh, this LCD monitor, it just, 
it's it's a game changer, Rutledge. I just tell you that. It really is cool, man. It seems like Caterpillar is really taking a cue from the automotive industry and some of the things that it's bringing to it. Is it true that thing's got Bluetooth? <laughs> Rutledge, better believe it. Little mega death going on today. Ah, oh, that's what you need, right? Is that, is that what you mean by Britney Spears? <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, we don't have to call him out just because he's a huge Britney Spears fan. Uh, I'm not judging. They I still cool. play the same in there. So <laughs> it's definitely loaded with technology. We know that makes a big deal. Uh, we certainly see all these guys working together. Josh out in the 150, the motor grader. Tell me about this thing, man. What makes it so special? i tell you what, Relish, this new 150 is kind of an honor to be in this today. Uh, but I want to talk a little bit about uh, the Caterpillar product line and the choices that we offer today. As you can see, this 150 is controlled all by two joysticks, so it controls the steering and all the implements with just the joysticks. But we also offer to the customer steering wheel and levers. And uh, if anybody wants to take a look at a steering wheel and lever machine, we have one right out of gate two. Mr. Eric Cahoots covering that machine and uh, brings back that original feel of the steering wheel and levers that a lot of our customers still like. So moral of the story, hey, we have the options out there today, which is really cool. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there excited to learn and hear a little bit about the cat grade massless 3D. That's this machine right here. So if you look at the top of the cab and on top of the mainframe, you'll notice that now is where our GPS receivers are located. So no more mass on top of the moldboard and the receiver's on top of that. Now, we know that uh, as a, a blade hand, that's a lot to keep track of, not just the work, but trying to make sure you don't get the mass of the receivers into the cab, the glass, whatever the case may be. Not only does it damage the machines, but it damages those components. So now we have all those components up on top of the cab and the mainframe gets it out of the way. And I have full versatility of what this machine was actually designed for, which is really awesome. And you make it look easy out there, Josh, that's for sure. Well, I'm not done yet. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. All right, I said third excavator just entered. That's the 313 Speedo. You're in that. Tell us about the 313 GC. Speedo, you got me, buddy? Yeah, how about that? Oh, there you go. Better. Perfect. All right, now I'm ready to talk to you. Yeah, you so, can push one came more. came out earlier in that 325. Side. The uh, 313 GC is very, very similar. So same thing as that one, had the nice touchscreen display in there, allowing me to set up my uh, controls, my air, radio, all that stuff. And, uh, you know, all those nice operator comforts that we really come to enjoy with these cab machines. So got uh, got that going with this new next-gen cab. And then on top of that, we've got this more of a little more simple machine. So as I'm back here doing a little grading, you know, there's a lot of times we don't need all that technology. So a little bit different offering for our customers that, uh, you know, need a backfill machine or they need a machine they can throw a work tool on. And, uh, you know, one of my favorites is uh, that I don't have to deal with that def fluid on this one. Oh, no diesel exhaust fluid. We know that's a big deal, Chad. So why it's, we see all these different things trying to lower the cost for the operator and keep things simple. Why is that such a priority? Well, I like being comfortable and I don't like spending a lot of money. So, you know, just kind of common sense, right? That's, that's what we're doing. And, and speaking of common sense, like if you want a machine, you can just walk out and start the darn thing, have cat reliability, have cat product support from all the dealers across the world, 165, mind you. That 313 GC, it does exactly for you. You may not need all the bells and whistles that Mr. Josh Hayes here, AKA velvet fingers when you're on a motor grader like he is, you know what I'm saying? You may not need all that stuff. You just want a machine. You just want sure. it to run, right? And that's what a nice GC like that'll do for you. Now let's talk about some of the new models because there are a ton of new models for 2020. Yeah, an absolute ton. We've had 50 machines in the last 12 months and 50 more are coming out in the next 12 months. So CAD has really been at the drawing board trying to accommodate our customers the best way we possibly can. Yeah, and let's not forget the equipment management solutions. You got to take care of your machines and your job site, right? Yeah, you really do. At the end of the day, if it's not running, it's not any good. So we make sure that our customers have preventative maintenance up and running. They're ready to go all the time. Using this uh, equipment management system, it's a web-based system. It helps them stay in front of anything that may be coming down the, the pipe in regards to machine failure. And also they can do that on their app as well. It's an amazing system. It works out really well. And again, like everything else we're doing, you got choices in that arena too. You got flexibility on what type of uh, maintenance program you would like to be a part of. For sure. I mean, CAT's really evolving its technology offerings. Why was it important for CAT 
to incorporate all of this technology into these new models? Well, our customers are asking for it, buddy. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, nobody, I shouldn't say nobody, not many new customers are going out looking for flip phones. They want the latest and greatest smartphone, right? Sure. Same with our customers. They want to do more with less, and we're giving them that capability with these products. That's really cool. And I keep hearing you talk about smart things, so let's talk about the smart attachments, Chad. Can you tell me more? Yeah, again, I'm going to use it again. More with less. These skid steer loaders, the D3 skid steers and the D3 compact track loaders, which is what we're looking at today, the compact track loaders, they have the ability to work with our new smart attachments. That's a backhoe loader, that's a dozer blade, and then that's a grader blade that you see out there. Let's say I'm running a backhoe loader, a smart attachment on my, uh, my CTL, my D3 CTL. It's awesome, man. I go in there, the machine recognizes what it has on there, it changes the controls over, so I have traditional controls that I'm accustomed to, and I don't have to figure out a new way to run my backhoe loader attachment. Flip a, bu uh, flip a button, and I go right back to uh, skid steer controls. It's pretty cool, man. That's way cool. Tyler, you're in that 289. It's got the smart attachment on the front. Can you tell us a little bit about how it works? Yeah, no problem. Yeah, this, uh, this is a smart grader blade. And uh, basically what Chad was saying, you know, you just hit a flip of a button on the trigger, and it converts it to whatever smart attachment you got. So with this one here, I hit that button like so. Now I'm back to skid loader controls here. I can just put it down, sit on the ground here, hit the button again. I got circle, I got raise and lower, I got tilt. Then I also got these wings on the side that I can move in and out. So it allows me to corral the dirt, put it exactly where I need to go. So if I'm putting a crown on a road or, you know, grading out a small parking lot, I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing. Hey, Rut, these D3s, they also got a 15% bigger cab which is cool because if you're a guy like Big Rock, that's what we call him in there, he can eat 15% more food while he's in Vegas and it's gonna work out. That's true, and we got Kane over here in the 299. Kane, tell us about that cap from your perspective. What are some of the big upgrades you think? Oh yeah, right. can you hear me now? Oh yeah, I got you, buddy. So yeah, we talk about all the upgrades in here again, just like Big Rock, he's been telling them for years that we need a bigger cab in these machines. So we kind of listen to the voice of the customer and also we'll talk a little bit about the window on this. So we are able to open the window to egress to be able to get into this machine. I think it's around 40% larger. So what that does for safety wise, these machines, uh, just like a day like today, could be a little bit muddy out. So we don't want any slips and trips and falls on this machine. So that way, when we want our three points of contact to be able to get in this machine, it's much, much easier. And then we'll also talk uh, all about the options. So Tyler's talked a little, a lot about the uh, smart tool or uh, smart options on that machine. But again, still the same uh, standard monitor in here that uh, we've kind of had forever. That uh, on these uh, on the on the D series, anyways, that gives you all the options to be able to control these joysticks the way I would like them. Maybe uh, Mr. Eric Exposito, he likes maybe uh, speed them up a little bit because he's kind of quick like that. But Sometimes I like to just have it just a little bit slower, right? So that way I'm able to dial that stuff in to whatever the operator needs. That's really cool, man. You make it look so easy out there. All right, we see the CS56B is rolling out here. Hood, you're in that thing. Tell us a little bit about it, buddy. Yeah, some people might think you drew the short straw today running this compactor, but I'll tell you what, <clears throat> these newer cabs on these, the more comfortable seats on them, Sometimes the guy just doesn't mind getting up and want to run one for a while. But um, one of the nice features on this machine that's an option is the uh, radar detect system. So it uses radar to detect objects around me, near me, um, close to me, and it's it runs off speed. So the faster I'm going, the faster that's going to set that alarm off. And it gives me an audible alarm in the cab to where I can hear it. That way I'm not having to look at something. I'm not having to look at my backup camera all the time. Um, Oh, but, th that's the beep we hear right there, right? Yeah, did you just hear it? Yeah. yeah, so the same sort of technology you might find on your truck at home is now in a machine you use every single day. Yeah, absolutely. And then that rear vision camera that system that they have on this machine is pretty nice. Nice big display right up there in front of you. Um, you pair that with that radar detect system and the improved visibility on these cabs. Uh, it helps stay safe. Helps it helps for an easier, comfortable day. 
you know, Rod, awesome. the, the nice thing about that is our folks up in Minneapolis, they take care of all of our paving products. Like, you know, we're just a bunch of dirt thugs here, right? I know a little bit about blacktop. I know the black side goes up. That's about all I know. <laughs> but those guys up there, they got it dialed in. And they've got, they're like industry leading in regards to paving products from pavers to rollers to pneumatic rollers to cold planers to anything, soil reclaimers, whatever they need or whatever our customers need, they've got it. It works out pretty awesome. And that one, I'm the geek that loves the fact that it's got the sealed bearings in it, lifetime. Uh, they're perfect. It's, it's ready to roll. Now, you're standing by that UTV I got to ride in earlier. Yes. And I love this thing. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, it's pretty nice. Electric steering works out really good. So, you know, when you got old velvet fingers spinning you around out there like a maniac, you got <laughs> control the entire time. I think this thing holds like a thousand pounds capacity in the steel bed, mind you. It's pretty cool. So the nice thing is we built it for the people that are going to use it, which is our customers. It's a nice deal. Yeah, and the fact that I there's diesel, there's also a gas, you got a two seat and a five seat option. Right. Yep. You got diesel on the job site, you can haul the whole crew, man. I'm ready to get one of those at the house, that's and for four. sure. Man, I love watching all this stuff come together. Now, I know, Chad, a lot of people want to operate these machines. If you're interested in a CAT, what are your options? You're going down We got tons of options. We got CAT certified rebuild. So let's say you've got a machine and it's getting a little long in the tooth, so to speak. Your CAT de dealer can bring that thing back to new life. It's an awesome system. Our CAT machines, they're built to be rebuilt. We understand that friction happens, heat happens, wear and tear happens. So we've got the ability to build those machines back up to a new standard. It's pretty awesome. And if that doesn't work out for you, let's say you're going to a bigger job and you need a, another machine or whatever the case may be, we've got our cat rental store. Uh, Caterpillar, you may not know time. this, but Caterpillar actually has 1,800 rental stores across the country. It's pretty amazing. It's the widest range of rental stores in the country. Works out perfect. Go see them. They can help you out. Heck, that's where I got my shovel. <laughs> Works out pretty slick, buddy. And it's then we get perfect. Yeah, I know, man. And then we got another option. You know, you get CAT certified uh, used. So maybe I don't want to drop a bunch of money on a machine that I don't use as often as another. I've got the ability to go in and buy a CAT certified used. They take low maintenance machines. Basically, what happens is there's a criteria they got to hit. So many hours, it can't be so so many years old, and they bring it up to new. I can't remember exactly. I think it's a 140 point inspection to make sure it's good to go. You've got that option too. And then of course, you can buy a new one. Everything from a skid steer loader to a 302 that you saw yesterday during operator challenge, clear up to a 992 wheel loader or even 994 if you feel so inclined. We got anything you want. And in some options, we have uh, the ability to do 0%. So that's pretty cool, man. That's like no percent. I I think it's pretty close. Yeah, Cat financial, make it happen. It's incredible to see how quickly these machines managed to build all of this, or honestly, I should say the operators. But I'm assuming, Chad, that these guys are the best of the best. Well, in my opinion, they are. Don't tell them I said that, but they're pretty darn good, buddy. I tell you, we, uh, we work really hard when it comes to finding demonstrating instructors. That's what we call them, demonstrator instructors, because they demonstrate cat equipment, and they obviously go then and instruct. We, work, we uh, search far and wide for them, and I think we've got a pretty good crew right here. And like we said at the beginning, like these guys were customers. They were out there feeding their families, doing the things that all of our customers that are watching here today, they've done it. I can teach someone how to run a machine. I can't teach them how to move dirt, if that makes sense. And if you're an operator out there right now, you know exactly what I'm saying. These guys understand. This morning we come in and the, the ground's all wet. It rained like heck last night, right? but they understand material and we figured out how to make it work. It's not a big deal when you know what you're doing. So anyway, at the end of the day, they do a great job. You did a great job today too, Rod, I might say. Hey, I, the, what I loved was watching these operators work because they are the best of the best trained by CAT. They do a pretty good job. So how about a round of applause for the demo operators out there? We're proud to support you, the titans of the trades. With the next generation of equipment, the most advanced technology, and a whole new range of tools and services to keep you at the top of your game. So you can accomplish what matters most to you.
let's do the work.